As previously covered by Alyssa's viruses versus bacteria video, we learned that bacteria can simply sit back and wait for an opportunity to wreak havoc on your farm. I'm Mike Ustry, it's my friend Jason Jackson. Today we're gonna to talk about cleaning, sanitizing, disinfecting on poultry farms, specifically your control room. One thing we don't realize as farmers is that we're in food production and food safety starts here on the farm. Uh, one of the biggest areas for bacteria and disease to get in is through the control room. So Jason, talk to us about your control room, the problems that you see even on your farm and where you live daily. Okay, well our goal here is to try to raise as healthy a bird as possible. We want to make sure that we're doing everything we can. So coming in and out of this control room, this is the main access point to the inside of these houses, to where the birds live. So this is the main area where things are going to enter in that we're, we, we need to be cautious about. So the floors, in, in, in this particular instance, the door got left open and we had a bunch of chicks come in, make a mess in the control room floor just last night. So now we've got chick droppings all over the floor. That's a great breeding ground for bacteria. That's a problem. I understand you guys have got something that can help me with that. So what can I do? Absolutely. So there are, when we're talking about cleaning and anything, we need to break it down into cleaning, sanitizing, and disinfecting. I know in poultry, we say disinfect a lot. Technically, we're sanitizing. Sanitizing is killing 99% of fungus and bacteria, relieving viruses out of the question. When we go to a different log, which is 99.99%, that's getting into disinfecting and killing viruses. So it is semantics, but where semantics is important is on the label. So you may read a label that talks about sanitizing versus disinfecting. So that's step number one. So get back to your point is, in order to know your products, you got to know the lingo. So, yeah. sorry. Oh, no. I, yeah. I just, I want, it, I want it clean and safe. You make it happen. Tell me what I need to do. <laughs> so there's a couple of things that we, we distinguish. Wet versus dry. You're talking about coming into your poultry houses. You got doorknobs. You got high touch areas. You got light switches. Your spray, disinfectant, highly evaporative. So this is, a, this is called an Alpet D2 spray. It is made for food production facilities. That is where it's at. It's a food professional product. Awesome. So it is a little bit of quaternary ammonia. The rest is isopropyl alcohol, which is why it dries so quickly. Personally, I would love to see people use this as a boot spray because it's easy to apply and it lasts and is way more effective than a foot bath. Let me give you the caveat there on a foot bath. Foot bath is very effective, but how often do you change it out? Foot bath should be changed out daily because the, the shelf life of a quaternary ammonia in water is, is not great. I mean, you constantly have to be testing and testing and testing with strips in food production facilities. Do you have any test strips on, on your... I don't have any test strips. So you're telling me I can take this and just spray my boots and not have to worry about keeping that foot bath there? That is correct. So Wow, that's awesome. I would much rather have a, something I can just... A squirt ball I can take and just spray my boots off as I go in. Absolutely. I keep one in every control room. Well, you, you probably should. So the easy thing with it... 10 seconds, it's sanitized. Spray, you wait 10 seconds, it's evaporated off and you're good. So we highly recommend this as a standard in food production facilities. If you have somebody that happens to be allergic to quaternary ammonia, they make the same product with the same kill claims that's quat free, it's just a little bit higher isopropyl alcohol solution. So that is the number one food service retail product that there is, uh, people the stainless steel facilities are constantly spraying down belts and washing everything with it because it's easy, but that is dry sanitation. It's simply dry because there's no added water or anything else. The other thing we're talking about, your floors here. Yeah. Um, mopping it, keeping it clean, hosing it down regularly, that's cleaning. The mechanical moving of debris, the most important step. One thing I would challenge you on is we need to be sanitizing the floors probably once a week. The reason is 
there's nothing, uh, bacteria simply need a food source and moisture. So if you're spraying it down and letting it dry or even blowing it out, you're still leaving moisture behind. You're right next door to abundance of food source. And we'll be bringing it in on the bottom of our boots when we come into the control room from the house. So we're, we're constantly bringing fresh food source in for them. So yeah, we probably do need to be sanitizing this a little more often. I haven't thought about that. So when you come in and wash it down, you're washing it down a floor drain too. So going back to food production facilities is the number one place a food production facility gets popped is in the floor drain. Granted, they have long pee traps and they've got environmental concerns, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't take much beneath that floor drain to harbor all kinds of bacteria and fungi. It is the number one spot and we get calls constantly for that. So that begins, because we've got a floor drain, we're getting into wet sanitation. So we, typical things are you know, bleaches, ammonias, quaternary ammonias, et cetera. We love PAA, which is parasitic acid. The reason is, is it's a mechanical kill. Nothing be can become used to it. So you know in your, uh, when you're going to spray for insects and insecticides, you need to rotate those. Yes. Same, it holds true with bacteria and fungi. They need to be rotated because quaternary ammonias in drains, quaternary ammonias in foot baths, they can become immune to it. It is just proven over and over again. They can't become immune to peroxides or parasitic acid because it's a mechanical kill. So it's one thing we recommend. The stuff's really cheap, a little bit harder to come by because of shipping, but a little goes a long way. At just 100 parts per million, PAA is going to be very effective at sanitizing and even disinfecting your control room floor. Wow, very good. Okay, so these products are something that I really need to incorporate into my standard cleaning process in my farm. I need the floors clean. I need the doorknobs clean. I need the people that enter in and out to have an easy, effective way to clean their boots. I like this stuff. I think it may be something that we need to look into here. I completely agree, and you cannot overlook sanitizing doorknobs, light switches, and your floor drains. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Till next time, thank you for joining us here at Southland Organics. Reach out to us, 800-608-3755, or catch us at southlandorganics.com. Thanks, and have a great day.